Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. Well, it's uh, 5.45 p.m. right now, and uh, I had just uh, downloaded and installed this game, uh, Legends of Amberland. I was uh, watching some YouTube video about the about top 10 indie dungeon crawler games that you can play right now. So, I just, um, this ended up being one of them. It kind of reminded me of some of the, uh, some of the old Nintendo, Nintendo RPG games a little bit, so... Thought I'd go ahead and um, download and give this game a go. And then, um, I did try out, uh, I tried out the music on this game. It's kind of annoying, kind of relentless. I think it's on probably like a, like a 10 second loop. Or like the, the, at least the uh, menu music. I think it only lasts maybe, i say 30 seconds. Tops and just loops over and over. So yeah, it gets kind of annoying. So I went ahead and shut it off. Um, so instead, I'm just gonna have my own music going. This is uh, it's just what I had going at the time, not planned or anything. But this is Falgar, uh, Mysterios de Berbeta. I'm thinking Spanish. I don't know, but anyway, yeah. A little easier on the ears. So let me go and get that fired up. Okay, media player froze up, so I gotta... Okay, there it goes. Okay, so... Oh, damn. Oh, one thing about this game I forgot. You can use a controller on it. Oh... Uh... Oh, damn, yeah. I wish they had a... Yeah, I'm going with this. This is just a quickie demo. Um, never played this before. We'll just auto-create everybody. Another thing I like is you can you can use the controller and mouse. Oh, freaking awesome! You can use all you can use all three um uh, three peripherals, I guess, for lack of a better word. You can use controller and mouse, and you can also use keyboard. So yeah, that's some serious functionality right there. Oh, that's a zero. Okay. So yeah, um, we'll we'll go ahead and start it. And yeah, this is old school. A whole shit ton of reading. Yeah, I think this is one of the reasons why uh, I've never played a single tabletop game of Dungeons and Dragons as much as I love. As much as I love the game, I want to be able to sit still. Oh my god, that's a lot of reading. This is not something I'd really want in an actual game. Holy shit. Okay. So far, it looks like this is turn-based. Yeah, looks like it's turn-based. So far, I'm kind of liking it. But yeah, that, um... I gotta turn that down. So, L1 and R1 turns. Oh, 
What if you could all? So, bard, elf, do I have any ranged attackers? And also, it looks like the um, team formation in this game looks different than other uh, RPGs. I'm guessing the, uh, the frontline fighters are actually in the middle. And then, like, the... Yeah, the ranged fighters are, like, way back here. So, I don't know if they are. Disease. Don't they have any actual attacks or spells? Okay, there it is. guy you want to heal, you have to actually use a mouse for. Yeah. Little picky. I don't really like this, though. You get attacked the very moment you walk into him. Yeah. You actually have to use a mouse. damage plus 15%. But yeah, so far I'm liking this. We'll give it to him. 
But yeah, I I could almost make a make a stream about this. Okay, so I guess this dungeon here is fully explored. Yeah. I guess we'll head on back. Okay, so I just wanted to do that quickie dicky demo of that game, but uh, so far I like it. So, and there's um, on top of that too, there there's a chance I might actually stream this. Um, my computer's uh bad enough to where uh, um, uh, most games that have like animation and stuff, there's a uh, there's a chance that it'll actually crash on my PC. I got a I got a gra I bought a new uh, graphics card some odd years ago. It doesn't play nice with the rest of my PC, so. Because of that, um, some of the games now crash. Oh, outdated drivers, too. I'm sure it factors in there. But anyway, uh, so as this game here is, is turn-based, not very resource-intensive, I might actually be playing this game more often. So... But yeah, I like it. Otherwise, I'll just go ahead and call it good here. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.